the jungle, a dangerous place full of danger. Danger that's dangerous at every turn of danger. One man keeps it safe. One man protects all animals. One man wears a loincloth because pants are hard, combs his hair with a stick, and doesn't get doors. That man is a king. That man is... George! George of Jungle! Oh, nice. Very nice. That was my line. Uh... And watch out for the tree. Being the king of the jungle means there's no time for three square meals a day. So what's a peckish man in a leopard skin to do? Hey, what you call George? Lucky for Mr. Sensitive here, there's fruit on every tree. Nutritious grubs on every leaf. Don't eat me. And whatever that thing is. Is, is that mayonnaise? Wow. Ooh, jar food! Wait, George, stop! That could have been there for years! <laughs> oh, this Prussian mayonnaise is a little off. Like the Kaiser, eh? Devilish job, Cecil. Now stop being such a Spaniard and give it a heave ho! <laughs> you throw like a Frenchman. <laughs> See? Taste so good! Not only does it not taste so good, but it holds a surprise for our king of the jungle. Hmm. Ooh. Good work, George! Now, there's a seven rhino pile upon the... Oh. Billy say, need snack first. Eek, uh, ookook. Oh, George, we live in a salad bar. I don't know why you'd eat a double beef burrito with banana cheese sauce. George, hungry. Twas not I. Eek, ookook. Uh, eek, ookook. Belly, how could you? Artoon! You are like a zeppelin, you have so much gas! No burritos! Hey, come out and say that to face! Ow! George, I don't think that's your stomach talking. Oh, the plane will be rough now! Stomach's pain! Hey, that's my arm! Ow! <laughs> Well, looks pretty normal to me. Oh, okay. George, you've got a doozy of a parasite. That's a grade A gut worm right there. Is correct, Flesh Houses? And my name is Sleepy. George, want worm gone now? Sorry, nope, no can do. But I, King, I order you. Kaiser of das Jungle? <laughs> yes, I laugh! <laughs> George, as King, you swore an oath to protect all jungle creatures, even parasites. But Slippy, not real animal. He not even have legs. <clears throat> oh, no offense, Bernard. Legs or no legs, Slippy's still an animal. George, not leave until Dr. Fix worm. 
suits me. I've been wanting to talk to you about your unpaid bill. <laughs> George, ignore Slippy. He not worth Jungle King's time. King has important animals to save, like lions, elephants, and pink horses with horn in middle of heads. George, we've been through this. Unicorns are imaginary. They told me you say that. Yes. Yes, we did. Help! George, save you! Ah, this place is so mess! Maybe if I move that over there... Grab hands! Ah, ah, don't touch me! I'm cool! I swear! But quicksand! And then that over there... Who oh, is this over here? Uh, mm -hmm. false alarm! Uh, I'm good! I'm so good! Huh, what his problem? what I wanted you to see. Jump. Worm, you ruined George's life. Worst animal ever. That's picnic you are not either. You smell worse on the inside. You called in the right scientist. I moderate three internet forums on parasites, so I'll have that prize-winning specimen out in a jiffy. With science! See? We offer the worm a better place to live, and Slip Slop Glork, he's somebody else's problem. Nine! Too round! Nine! Too springy! Nine! Too eighties! Nine! Too... Life is tough inside a snake. It's a snaky place full of snake, with snake at every turn. George, 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 and a big snake lost as he can be. Watch out for that swing! George, 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 and a big snake's wet and soft and pink. It really kind of stinks. When he made a mistake, he was eaten by a snake. Along with his friends, there's no escape. And away he'll swing on some gross thing. Whatever it is, it isn't a string. George, George, George in a big snake. Glad it isn't me. George, we found a whole mango tree growing near the lungs. I don't know how it grew without sunshine or dirt or water. But hey, don't look a snake fruit in a snake mouth, right? Have you found a way out yet? George, did not find anything. Nope, not George. No, no. Slither left, activating his shedding skin. Pink horses with them. horn in middle of head. Hi! Now, George, I thought we had an understanding. Apes say they're not real. Apes say they're not real. Apes say they're not real. Gas quake! Duck and cover, people! George, there's always an after belch. Not so fun when you eat that parasite, huh? Uh, get your ball, George, in here. never realize how hard it'd be to live inside animal. <gasps> Slippy live in inside jungle, just like animals live in outside jungle. Yeah, yeah, okay, that is nice thought, but not the lesson. Play again! Ow, uh, Slippy real animal. Keep going. Even if Slippy all wet and not have legs? Yeah, okay, close enough. 
George, sorry for treating Slippy no good. That's okay. Now we can leave. Wait. You know way out of Snake. That's handy and completely incomprehensible. All animals have that emergency exit. Women and scientists first! <laughs> oh, something that doesn't smell like Snake. Ah, Slippy want back in, George? George be proud to have Slippy in stomach. No, my work is complete. George is now better jungle kaiser. <gasps> George missed you, Slippy. No need. I make eggs in all your mouths last night. Good tag. <laughs> Being king of the jungle isn't easy. There's peril at every turn. Animals that need help. Other animals that don't. I save, uh, the crocodile? No, George. The sloth. The baby sloth. Why would a crocodile need saving from a one-year-old sloth? Well, baby sloth look mean. It doesn't look... Oh. Just swing in there and save the sloth. Hmm? Sloth. Sloth, sloth, sloth. Uh, sloth green. Sloth have skill. It's the brown one with fur. George, save sloth. Yeah. Both the Grease Monkey clan and the Stink Badgerino think they should live in this cave. As Jungle King, your decision will prevent a terrible war. Oh, George feel much better, but cave kind of messy. Very nice. Now, where are they going to live? George loves having house guests. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Meanwhile, in Dr. Chicago's evil science lab... Imagine a creature so mean, so filled with hatred, so vicious, that you'd wet your pants even thinking about it! Yay! You're probably thinking, what is that? That, my friends, is Cuspid, Dr. Chicago's toothy science assistant. The doctor created Cuspid to help out with his evil plans, but mm, sometimes things don't work out how you imagine. Behold! What? Puppies? Kittens. Oh, they're not scary or mean. They're fuzzy and have pink noses. <laughs> I said imagine it. I haven't even hit them with my new monsterizer. Ahem. George, destroy the doctor's machine. <laughs> this make kitties into monsters? Ha! George like to see that. <laughs> oh. At least we destroy machine. Hey, what wrong? You need use bathroom? <laughs> Warning, poetry ahead. Warning. As the result of a terrible poetry accident in his second year at Oxford, Ape can only speak in rhyme when furiously frustrated. A jungle king you're supposed to be. Instead, you're barely bourgeoisie. You keep your eyes closed on a vine. George, scared of heights. You never remember which toothbrush is mine. They look same. You always leap before you look. Ah! When we ran out of toilet paper, you used my book. I've hit my limit. No more. That's it. Goodbye, George. I'm done. I quit. <laughs> oh, Ape, you funny. Ape? Uh, so I'm your new roommate. Name's Bernard. Hope you like loud music and a fridge full of goats. <laughs> Okay, George, try harder. George, be better. George promised to change. Hmm. Okay, I think I have a way to help you. 
There's only two things you need to know about bitey, bitey ants. One, they're deathly afraid of anteaters. Two, when they get scared, they... Whoa, wouldn't want to have him in loincloth. He's going in your loincloth. But, uh, George promised he'd change. You did. And our little friend... Henry. Our little friend Henry here will help make sure you do. For this... I truly apologize. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> Henry tickled. Anteater. <laughs> See, Henry and I will help you remember to be a better jungle king. It's for your own good. Okay, I ape think this best. <laughs> now he tickles again. <laughs> Anteater. Say the word. But, but George save Sloth and Eagle Baby and Swing good on fine. But you didn't do them properly, like a king should. Say the word. George no wanna. Say it. And. <laughs> George, George, George. There's an insect on your eyeball. And eater. George, your breakfast's getting cold. George, eat like a civilized ape man. Don't make me. Chef, uh, play um, 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 um. <laughs> Hi, George. Hi, ape. Just thought I'd drop in and... Ah! What is wrong with George? What? Nothing's wrong with George. Really? Really? Ah! George, jungle spirit scared way. Huh. See? George normally tried to escape. He's fine. I've just gotten rid of all his silly little quirks. Um, hello? What do George's quirks have to do with being a good king? Pish. George, show them you're happy with a new you. Antita. 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 Antita! <laughs> Fine, we'll take him to the witch doctor, but there's no way this is my fault. This is definitely your fault. See this? This isn't normal. Not even for Einstein here. <laughs> He's hiding somewhere inside his own head. I wonder why. And by that, I mean I'm not wondering at all. Hmm. If George is hiding from anything, it's his jungle duties. So I'll go inside his head and bring him back to reality. If I'm not back in ten minutes, take my casserole out of the oven. Commence Simeon Mind Mail! <laughs> Well, I shouldn't be surprised. It is George's mind. <laughs> While not entirely unpleasant, I will forget that ever happened. Excuse us. Oh, excuse us. <laughs> Hi, George. 
Pooch, <laughs> wake up. Time to come back. <laughs> George, stop! <laughs> oh, man! Sorry, George. <laughs> What's wrong? Hey, Nut! Hurt George? Hurt you? No, I'm your friend, George. I'd never hurt you. Oh, George think you were other ape. Other ape? What other? Antita! <laughs> Is that... Pretty big! That thing, that's me. No, that big mean ape that hurt George for no good reason with bitey ants. Oh, this is all my fault. It okay, Ape. It's not okay. I should never have tried to change your silly little quirks. They don't even matter. It really okay. You think I'm a big monster and you ran and hid from me? Antita! Sorry. <laughs> George, forgive, Ape. Hey! Yeah! You want to go back to real jungle? <laughs> What's the rush? Oh, your little quirks aren't so bad after all. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs>